Good morning, Wednesday morning. First, there was retail tech. Then there was prop tech. Today is ed tech. Three conferences in one week. It's going to be a very exciting day, learning about the ed tech space in Israel, education tech, and heading to Powtoon. Going to be there all day, and then tonight have a meeting locally. Pretty excited about this day, and next week, a week and a half from now, heading to Portugal to the HQ headquarters of Undandy, the shoes I've been talking about lately if you follow me on social. Pretty pumped to see them, meet the team, hear about their work, and they're going to give me a little tour of the startup scene in Lisbon, bringing Arnold Aranes and Arson, good friends of mine, big influencers, they're joining us. It's going to be a fantastic trip, and today's going to be an awesome day. Let's do this. Here in Tel Aviv at the Yitzhak Rabin Center for the EdTech Summit. Why do I come so early? For parking. This parking lot's gonna be jam packed soon. Here's the Israel Education Summit. Some pretty amazing people expected today. Excited to spend a couple hours here and then head to Patun. Right and early, 8 a.m. to the EdTech Summit, which I can tell you right now, it's 8 a.m. and it's popping already now, so that's highly impressive. Uh, Paltoon stand right mm -hmm. here, and the man of the hour, the big boss, the man himself, well, Yaki. You, this is your event. That's my event. Tell me about it a little bit. You know, we started EdTech Israel in 2014. Yep. With the vision to connect the Israeli ecosystem to the world. Right. At that time, you know, I've been in the high tech for many years. Okay. And we're already, you know, making the pitch of Startup Nation. You know, we are Startup right. Nation, second to California IPO. I was What's in telecom. What's second? First, we're just kidding. Go on, yes. Okay. And now I was in telecom business, and at that time you were second. Okay, maybe. Uh, and then, you know, I done a pitch in education. 2014, I look around and say, how come there are more startups in this area in the Netherlands really? than they are in Israel? Wow. And I said, you know, this does not make sense. So Etik is a start with a vision to connect Israel to the world. Mm -hmm. I will not do a very long pitch about that, simply just to mention that Etik is a, is a social impact startup. Okay. It's me, but so many other people, I'm on the only one on payroll, but there are so many other people, wonderful people that are helping. Me? And then we said, you know, we need to have in Israel, they look like of the SCGSV. There's something that, you know, connects the entire spectrum of life into one conversation about yep. what can we do with learning and education. Very cool. And I had to find my investment banker. So I came to New York and I met this wonderful person called Josh. And, you know, he liked the vision from Eastman Advisors. He liked the vision and he connected immediately to the idea. And it's amazing because we were discussing this in February 2016. In June 2016, we already had the first summit coming out of nowhere. Amazing. And fast forward four summits, three years. We are now in the Rabin Center in, in Tel Aviv. With amazing turnout, you know, people ask me how many people you have over here. And I say, it's not the, we are not judging this by number of people. If I wanted, I could actually open it up and uh, fill it with people. Like bets, you know, that, but. Quality. I'll give you two numbers. Or maybe three numbers that will maybe shock you. Okay. We have here 50 speakers, international, coming from 12 nationalities. Incredible. It means that 50 people came here on their own expense to do business with the startup nation. That is a remarkable number. Amazing. The second number is 120 and 20. We have more than 120 international delegates yeah. from over 20 nationalities, including places like Kazakhstan, Ecuador, Wow. And even Rwanda, so not the kind of places that you would you know, expect. E expect. Right. And I promise you another th a third number. The third number, we have roughly about 50 exhibitors over here, more or less. So let's say about two person per, per company, so about, about 100 people. Right. But there are so many that they're not exhibiting, but they are in this business, right. whether they work for other companies in that uh, area. Last year, we counted from this community 230 people from this community alone. 
incredible. Incredible. This means that this is for them the only gathering where there's so many of them meet and network among themselves. So you know, if they're coming over here maybe to see international investors, but they also, if they are wise, they will also we look to the right and to the left to see who are their peers. Unbelievable. You know, a lot. Of, no, most people don't know this about me, but I grew up in a house in a home of educators. Both my dad and my mom are educators. My dad started a school called SAR. I don't know if you ever heard of the school in the Bronx. The entire school, which is now one of the top like private schools in America, has no walls. It's open. Have you heard of this? Well, I have four kids attend SAR. So my dad was a principal. <laughs> uh, Thirty. Oh, you knew that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, yes, and my mom. My mom taught in you know in high schools and colleges and Hebrew University and many others. So I grew up in a, in a in a house of education, not just education, but innovative education. Education, right? And then I'm, you know, I'm a tech guy. So I, whoa, look who just walked. <laughs> what it, wait, what it, wait, 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 look who, wait. wait you know, it? we never have a conversation on this camera without mentioning, without mentioning the word startup nation. Okay. We don't talk without so mentioning the word startup nation. So let me give you the man who coined. No, 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 no. Uh, so you know, you please, please. Hilal, let me give you a scoop. Okay. This guy's like my my idol. So Is your my idol. Blushing? <laughs> Your idol was standing on stage at the Global Education Summit in Beijing in front of the top 1,000 people from the industry from around the world, from the SGSP, top universities in, the, in, in China. And he over there shared his vision that we do not need just to flip the classroom, we need to flip the entire education. So I'm not going to steal this, he will be, he's the man. So you, I, I, I advise you, you know, it. take it, but today. He just walks in, just like he's a normal person, just walking around. <laughs> So today, for the first time, he's going to keynote in the morning oh, wow. and tell the entire world that they, it's not just a vision that he shared in December in Beijing, but something they, they are kicking in Israel right now. Love so it. this is a scoop, one of the scoops of this summit. Who are you? Tell the camera. Just in case there's like a half a person there watching who might not know who you are. Uh, well, I wrote a book. And it's <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's all I did. I, I wrote a book called Startup Nation. How many languages is it translated into now? Uh, about 30. I, I know you say that as a joke, but the reality is you've created a movement. Like, literally, no one in this entire landscape, this entire ecosystem, talks about Israeli tech without mentioning those words. It's become a, like, household... It's become a cliche already. That's, like, the biggest compliment there is. You know, what do they say? The deepest truth slay in the cliches? I mean, your, the, the name of your book, Startup Nation, has become a cliche. It's unbelievable. It is. So it's not something... Expected. Unbelievable. What are you up to now? Working on another book. Oh, wow. Can I get a first copy? Sure. Is it called you? You didn't have to do that. Yeah. Probably coffee. Yeah. Can, can we call it Unicorn Nation? <laughs> Unicorn Nation. Coined here. TM. So great to see you. <laughs> an amazing surprise. I didn't plan this, by the way, but I love it. All right. All right. Listen, I have one question for you. Only one question. Okay. How is it that you have not gotten me involved in this conference till this year? How come, what is this? You know, we have over here an amazing delegation of 12 people from India. Yeah. And we also made an announcement yesterday about connecting the Israeli innovation ecosystem into India through collaboration between Etik Israel and all of the leading. And they have a saying, they have a word saying karma. Karma. Okay? Yep. Things Big happen, believer in karma. Things happen when they happen and at the right time. Love it. And, you know, uh, it's, the karma, it. it's the karma that brought me to Josh. Yep. You're connected to Josh, this is the, the thing that brought you over here. Yep. And it's a complete karma that I met you this morning I and agree. said, let me interrupt you, uh, do you know? I, I'm usually not here this early, <laughs> but I wanted to see these guys. I'm gonna ask Josh to come take your, you're at the hot seat here. Am I excused? You're excused, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for having me, and thank you for putting on this amazing event. And let's have a cup of coffee soon, that's how things get done sure. in Tel Aviv, cups of coffee. Not this one. Not this one. one. And the man behind the magic, who are you? My name is Joshua Schwartz. So. Give me a little background before we talk about this summit and your role here, but what's your background? Where are you from? What's your deal? Talk to me. What's your story? Who is Josh Schwartz? Who is Josh Schwartz? So, uh, I am an investment banker by day. Uh, no I, one's perfect. I am uh, still coming to terms with that, <laughs> um, and, and uh, this is relevant to that. I, um, I've been a mercenary investment banker doing M&A uh, and corporate finance transactions for a long time. In the early t uh, 2000s, I saw a great opportunity in an industry that had not yet really been formed. Um, Where are you from, I, by the way, geographically? New York City. I live on the Upper West Side, work in Midtown West. So I saw a great opportunity in what was at the time called e-learning, which is a, a verb, not a noun, so not a great name for a 
industry, but I, I really felt like uh, technology was going to impact the space and it was become um, it was going to become a significant sector and one where I could do a lot of business. The wrinkle was I was a media and entertainment banker at Bear Stearns, um, known for the, the, the group there was known for working with large cap media companies who arguably were not in the education field and didn't care about it. Right. So I needed to make the case that education was relevant. Right. I had a hypothesis that it would be relevant, that you know most media players were involved in... When was this, by the way, what year? Early 2000. Ahead of your time. Uh, you know, better to be lucky than smart. Um, maybe there was a little bit of Seiko in there, <laughs> but, uh, but, but it wasn't such a stretch. I mean, media companies look to reach an audience, often it's a young audience with engaging content. Content with nutritional value is probably, you know, it's a good business model. Right. In other words, I'm a content guy. Content and education have a strong, you know. Yep. They might call it edutainment. So maybe maybe they wouldn't go all the way into the sandbox where you're like really delivering on hardcore education. But they're they're in the universe, and it gave me enough to make the argument, which was accepted. And uh, I was off to the races. The economy melted down. It became pretty clear that a big bulge bracket law firm wasn't going to support a new franchise with unclear business opportunities, and um, I decided to do something entrepreneurial for the first time in my life. So I hung up a shingle, took my dog, and started my firm, Eastwind Advisors. Cut to today, uh, we're about a dozen professionals based in New York City, um, working in three sectors, media and entertainment, education services and technology, also now known as EdTech, and consumer retail, where your, your friend David Koftal is involved. Elon Koftal is my partner and wow. chairman of the board. So, our connection. So there's a, a bunch of wow. different. Uh, I just have one question. I have one question for you. Yeah. How the heck have we not sat and had coffee yet? Yeah, it's I don't like, know. Whoa, long overdue. Just bandwidth it's issues, issues. No, but we, we're well, correcting that starting this today. Is, there's around 80 different things we have to talk about in terms of synergies and things like that. We'll talk about it. But uh, so your your role here in the in the, in the summit. So, so then, what, why Israel? So I mean, and you you know this. Koftal is always connected to Israel. Right. Um, I have a deep personal connection to Israel. I came here for the first time in 1987. Grew up disconnected, but for some reason I wanted to come here. And since then, my you know family has gotten into it. I've had one one son who completed a gap year here, a daughter who's now finishing her gap year, and you know we we um, want to spend as much time as possible here. We look for business opportunities, so it was natural when I came over here. Elon's done a lot of business in Israel. I've been working to you know try and uncover opportunities. It's natural to go out and say, okay, we do business back home in. EdTech, what's going on here in EdTech? And seven years ago, we found not a whole lot. Right. So if you're looking to un uncover opportunities, yeah. allow me act allow me to give you access to my inbox because they're all sitting in my inbox right now. So you need to sit and have a cup of coffee. That's the bottom line. But listen, I'm not gonna keep you too long. This is your this is your uh, you know your show. But uh, you know, big honor to meet you and uh, keep doing good work. And I hope we do have a chance to sit and, t and talk shop. Thanks. I would like to just make one one yes. point. Yes. Israel, cybersecurity, automotive driving, water technology, etc. There is absolutely no reason in the world why EdTech broadly defined to include talent technologies, HR tech, why Israel can't be a global no hub question. for innovation, exporting it to the rest of the world. That's why we're here to help make that happen. 100%. Two companies that I'm just going to throw at you right now. One is right there, Powtoon. They're doing yeah. a lot in education, obviously. Full disclosure, I'm an advisor there. I love the company. Second one, I'm sure, I'm assuming, I mean, I know you, you have to know, I'm assuming is TinyTap. Absolutely. Those are those guys, I just, uh, Facebook just reminded me a couple of weeks ago how when they launched, they came to Beit Shemesh to have me and, and my, to show my kids their platform and, and having my kids be their beta testers. Like back, like, I don't know, seven years ago or something like that. So watching them grow, it's amazing. But uh, yeah, listen, let's have, a, let's have a actually sit down. Every year it gets better. The one thing that we've noticed is the capital markets and, and in particular venture capitalists to you know, identify this as an investor for the sector. We're here to try and fill gaps, correct some deficiencies and shortfalls so we're launching a fund with local partners called Meta VC to invest in, in this area. Wow. It's a great valuation arbitrage. Right now there's not okay. a lot of capital chasing companies, so we want to make How that long are you here for this trip? I'm here through Thursday night. It's two days from now. Yep. Oh, today's Wednesday. It's tomorrow. It, it oh, is. going to have to wait until next trip. Or, or New York. But I just asked one last question to end the interview. Please. And I could edit this part out if this is offensive, but has anyone ever told you like Larry David? I, you know, I get Adam Silver. Yeah. I got that recently. And basically, I get any 
bald you know, Jewish Larry David, guy. you ever told you that? No, I've never heard what? of Larry David. What? I feel like I'm talking to him. <laughs> anyway, man, this is great. Thank you so much. And I'm Thanks uh, for coming. looking forward to this event and to our cup of coffee. Thanks so Thanks. much. So we have a very unique staff here doing the food. And all these guys are New Yorkers, right? What's yes. your name? No, from My home. name is Guidon. Guid Guidon? Yes. Where'd that name come from? Well, it's a long story, but my grandmother named me Guido. I love it. It's a great name. Thank you. All right, and so I said the single best thing about the events here is last night, this guy was doing some Stevie Wonder, some Temptations. I was looking for a little Commodores. I didn't get any Commodores. <laughs> and I have no idea what you sang, that second oh, song that you sang. Hit me, sang. baby, hit me. But this guy was just great. And so I said, Hillary, you got to meet him. Go for it. What you won't do, do for love. You tried everything, but you won't give up. Ooh, man, you got a nice voice. Thank you. Dude, wow, you got like, <laughs> what are you doing in this He's thing? Go pipes. like American Idol or something, dude. He's got the pipes. Are you, are you, do you sing online at all, or can people follow your work or not? You're not even... Oh, yeah, you can find me online at The Shake Comedy and Music on YouTube. Okay. That's my YouTube channel. The Shake? The shake? Shaking, shaking something, The Shake Comedy and Music? Like The Shake, like the Arabic Shake. Ah, the Shake. Oh, yeah, The okay. Shake Comedy and Music Channel. Beautiful. It's on YouTube. Uh, I've got it. a couple of videos of me singing up there. Give me one more, one more song, one more tune. Very superstitious, writings on the wall. Very superstitious, light is about to fall. This is at 9 a.m. too. 9 a.m. I love 9 it. 9 a.m. And, and these guys work till, I don't know, midnight? Yes. Yeah, and we're here again at 6 a.m. So Unbelievable. This is, this is the hardest working group in show business I right love now. It, I love and it. so this is the highlight of this conference for me. Now, do you know who you're talking to here? Oh, do we have to do this again? Who are you? What's your name? <laughs> I'm Seth Haberman. Seth Haberman. In 30 seconds, and I'm putting on a stopwatch because you don't like to talk about yourself. I'll talk about you. Who are you in 30 seconds? I have committed the greatest accomplishment that I ever expected, which is now all four of my kids have driving licenses. Okay. <laughs> but who is Seth Haberman? Um, I'm uh, the CEO of Sense Education. I'm an a entrepreneur. I founded a number of different startups. Um, Visible World, that was the first company to target ads on television. Montage, the first company that did nonlinear editing, uh, software tools. So I've been in this entrepreneurial bug for a number of years. A couple of patents? About 80. 80 patents. Yeah. Basically, one might say, Correct me if I'm wrong. The man standing to my left has invented video, modern video editing as we know it. Oh, I think a lot of people get credit for that. I, I don't want to stand. I, I, did, I had some good contributions. Great people and humility. I told you there's a correlation, but he's invented video editing. Anyway, no, I'm not going to embarrass you. But thank you for the, uh, you know, this is great. I'm really excited yeah. about the day, and uh, let's, let's catch up soon. Okay. Thanks. It is on like Donkey Kong. I don't know what that is. What? Are, I feel like I should be in the center of this no, video. You want to look at yourself? Take him in here. We'll do a selfie camera so you can look at yourself. You can look at yourself and I'll interview you. It's not about me. It's about like the no, frame. No, don't freak, what? Okay, cool. Let's go. Jeez, Good morning, dying. everyone. We're at the EdTech conference today. Bilal, how is your morning? Banana. Hold on Banana. Who have you met already? Can you, can you? How many coffees do you have this morning? Zero. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> I get here at 8 a.m. this morning. One person here. One person. Natalia. Yeah. Natalia. Of course. From the Palace. Of All right, course. who are you? What's your name? I'm Talia from Powtoon, the person you all expect to see. What's your role in Powtoon? The one that we can talk about. I know you've been something going on. We're not going to talk about. No, I literally can't see myself. Like, You're not supposed to see yourself. This is not you. Look, okay. Can we like focus for one okay, second? Yeah. Hi, I'm Talia. I do growth at Powtoon. Okay. Which basically means identifying any opportunity we have from within the product or the space that we work in. Um, to see how we can grow and what opportunities we have and how we can get there fast. Is it fair to say that Powtoon is experiencing hyper growth? Powtoon is experiencing hyper growth with hyper challenges that come with hyper growth, um, which means we have to be even more laser focused so we can prioritize all the amazing opportunities Love coming it. our way. Love it. Talk to me about the vertical. Okay. So we're actually now at the EdTech conference. Anyway, I just want to say EdTech has a problem, just like AgTech has a problem. They both sound like AdTech. Right. And no one likes AdTech. So AgTech as an agriculture. I like, I, I like AdTech. Anyone who has an AdTech company, please contact me. No, we don't like advertising. No one likes advertising today. It's a, it's a different discussion for another time, but I'm just saying EdTech sounds like AdTech. But anyway, okay, okay so we're at the EdTech. So, so there's that we're vertical. we're at EdTech. Um, yeah, but it's not, it's, not a, it's not the way you would think of EdTech. So it's not only K-12, so obviously Powtoon is used by 
teachers and faculty to create lesson plans and teach the subjects in an engaging way and give their students homework, so that's obvious. Actually, you know that teachers are the most early adopters doctors, yeah. because they, they're constantly challenged with engaging people, yep. so they're so amazing. Engaging people with low attention spans. Exactly. By the way, I, I, that one of the, my favorite stories ever, my favorite how-to stories ever, was that the other day at the, uh, the Google uh, event mm -hmm. where I'm talking to my friend Matthew, who's a guy, a, a developer, engine, what's he called, developer, what's his my title? Shot. Developer, he, not he engineer. He has a big title. Wait, no, no, I don't remember now. It's about architect, developer architect okay. in London. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, I want to introduce you to, to Ellie, the CEO of Powtoon. He, his eyes like lit up. He's like, Powtoon? I've been using Powtoon forever. I love Powtoon. He's like, I didn't even know you were Israeli. It's unbelievable. So literally, Ellie's like, who else should I meet here at the conference? I'm like, come over to the start. I need you to meet my friend Matthew. Turns out he's like, wait a second, Powtoon? I use Powtoon. He's been using Powtoon yeah, for a long for time for yeah. training and for presentations. Yeah. And now Google is an official Powtoon customer. Yeah. So we're going to make this a more official relationship. People use Powtoon, I mean, right. we're talking millions, like tens of millions of users. Right. So we're not Israeli, we're a UK based company. We right. have our center Important in Israel. You mentioned that, yes. Um, but so, yeah, so it's used by teachers and everything, right. but actually, education is much more than just K-12 and universities because you're you're constantly needing to educate. You're educating right now about what we do and what I do and what the space is. So we found that a lot of um, the corporates need ed tech because they need to educate people inside the organization. If you're an employee in a big company, you need to know the company rules, company guidelines. You need education about new software that's coming in, how to do processes, how to use processes, everything. What up, what up, what up? So Hello, what and only. Can you guys do like some dancing in the background. You ever see that video with the gorillas dancing in the background where they throw the ball onto each other? You ever see that? With the red, red shirts one. and the blue shirts. Yeah. And, it goes and someone's got to go through Amazing and video. Count. Amazing video. Amazing video. Okay, you're dismissed. Get out of here. Okay, yeah. So, okay. So, we, so, can you focus, please? So, education is big in corporates and that's the vertical we sit in in right. addition so to the training. schools and universities. It's training, right. it's announcements, it's procedures, it's guidelines, it's learning and development. You know, if we leave this interview like as is, mm -hmm. I promise you I'm going to get at least 100 comments telling me if you and Talia don't start your own show, like, this is a this is a fantastic interview. Would you want to be on my show? I'll think about it. I will this think about it. This is a fantastic it. show. Like, this is I'm just this is a fantastic interview. The, like it's funny. It's highly entertaining. Whoever's watching this, I guarantee is laughing. They, if they don't have a smile, or they're like, oh my gosh, people get to the point. No, I promise you, they're enjoying this. Okay, I promise great. you. Okay, but so there's a whole lot of verticals. We're talking tens of millions of users. We're talking over 95 percent of Fortune 500 companies. Is that true? That's true. That's correct. We're talking like the biggest brands. Literally, think of a brand. They're using Powtoon. I actually I tested this on Hillel when he first started working with me, he didn't believe me. And then he's, sure. and he then- looked in the database, he looked through the member? Yeah, he yeah. made me show him in the database names of anyone who's like, Apple. I'm like, yeah, it's yep. using Apple. He's yep. like, no way, it's using Apple. It's fanboy. So yeah. Anyway, I've been, a, I've been a truth, truth be told, now we're working together for last, I don't know, whatever, five, six months, but before that, for years, honestly, I was a huge, huge fan, both of Powtoon and of the founding team, especially Ilya, who I love. And me. A brother from another mother. We, I know you before you were at Powtoon. Sure. You're a PR hotshot. We're, we're all buddies. In any case, incredible company, Powtoon.com, hyper growth. You're going to be hearing a lot about the company. Full disclosure, I'm an advisor, but I'm an advisor because I love them. I'm not saying I love them because I'm an advisor. And there's Seth Haberman who invented video editing right behind us. Non I'm non also video. your advisor of there's, getting to the point on a highly, video uh, Highly inappropriate, I'm just saying. Seth Haberman just walked by who invented nonlinear video editing. You saw him before, big legend. In any case. Who else gonna... is here? Like, let's talk about the conference first. I mean, Saul Singer just walked by. Like, what? Let's cut this out for Joseph. Joseph, we're prefixing the conference. Hi, hello, how are you? We're at the Off Ed Tech Conference rocker. today. At the Ed Tech Conference, it's gonna be a busy day. It's so actually she, the what second did she smoke day this of the conference. Hillel, tell us why you're here at the conference. What are you looking to see? You. I came here to see you, Talia. Okay, what else? Tech. What else? What are you looking at? What it's do you water. love most? You bring most? me water, it's really nice. Yep. What do you love most about Ed Tech? The impact. Huh? How's so, that for an answer? Amazing answer. Very fluffy. Give me, like, elaborate. It's all about, you know, for better or for worse, education can literally change lives and the way people perceive the world, the way people behave. In a social environment and in an individual environment, it's all about education. Yeah. And when, you, when we use technology to disrupt education, bring innovation to education, Education, it's a huge, you know, potential explosion in a good way. Right, and I think educators of today are faced with much more challenges than they used to 10 or 20 years ago. Fair point. Because they're facing low attention spans, the need to always entertain their students yep. so that they don't browse Facebook exactly. or WhatsApp or things I don't know because I'm too old Facebook. to understand. Instagram. What is that music app? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. TikTok. <laughs> 
TikTok. I love TikTok. Have I, you ever I've done a TikTok? Even, I've never downloaded it even. We should do it. That's TikTok. how I know I'm old because I don't even get what TikTok is. I'll be honest with you. Maybe I shouldn't say this on my video blog because people are gonna be like, "You're old. I don't want to watch your vlog anymore." But I don't even know what TikTok is. Can we end this thing because it's already at nine so minutes and thirty eight seconds. So tech is super important. It's very important to bring in new technology and innovation to your classroom. And basically, um, the we, educators are the most inspiring professions there give, because they're molding the future, future. that are gonna be on Hillel's interviews in the tech space in a we, few years. Can we give an exclusive offer to my viewers from Powtoon? It's, Absolutely. It's Yoni, Yoni, come here. You know you need for Math Challenge? Nope. Okay. Yoni, you need to bring Talia to mentor. This is Yoni Truman's Math Challenge, the biggest accelerator She's in the world. Hi, Talia from Powtoon. You? Nice You've been on the vlog before, you're a regular. Anyway, so we're gonna bring Talia to, to Mass Challenge to come Hello. speak. Hi world. There you go. This Next is Yoni. Coming up. The, what's your official title at Mass Challenge? Managing Director. Managing Director. She gets it done. I try. Monday morning, 10 a.m. Get out of the way. Monday morning, 10 a.m. I'm going gonna there, be there in Jerusalem. Please prepare rugalak for me from Mahana Yuda. <laughs> Don't prepare for Rugalak because I'm a no-carb guy. I'm not going to prepare them, no. but I will make sure that somebody acquires yes. steak. No, it's early, man. Uh, Rachel's uh, even uh, open. Five o'clock somewhere. All right, can you, you're okay. bothering us. You're I know, me I know. Bye. Listen, exclusive offer for my viewers. How to? What percent of uh, this can you give my viewers who want to use Powtoon? Sure. What do, you, company, what do you suggest? If a company's watching this, they want to use Powtoon for internal training, for external communication. So if you're an enterprise, definitely get in touch with my enterprise team. That's um, enterprise at Powtoon.com, and they'll hook you up with a great offer. 30? 30% 30 off? 40% off? It we depends do. how big the team is. Give me is. a number. I can't give you a number. Thank you, Talia. I'm walking around this conference and I get a LinkedIn message. Are you the guy walking around with a camera? And so I just came to say hello. What's your name? Judith, hi. Judith, and you're Daphne and Dahlia's cousin. Cousin, exactly. And this is your good looking brother over here. What is what is Lilo? Lilo. Lilo. Lilo, Lilo, Lilo is a startup to help people improve conversational skills in uh, foreign languages. Conversational so, skills in foreign exactly. languages. Exactly. So instead of having a human tutor, mm -hmm. you've got a virtual coach to help you improve by discussing around topics you like and uh, that you need to improve for your professional life. Love it. First of all, what's the website? Website talktolilu.com. Talktolilu.com. Second of all, you're from Paris? Paris, but we live here now. We made Alia a few months ago. Congrats. Thank you very much. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna turn this thing off. I'll have a cup of coffee. <laughs> So now I talk about coming early so that I can get parking. When you go to a conference before you come to the office, what happens, Talia? You get Hillel Road Rage. Circling for like an hour looking for parking, parked on minus a zillion. So yeah, good It's luck. okay, it's just parking. Good it's luck. not worth getting upset about. You wanna see yourself? Here, see yourself. <laughs> Spontaneous meeting. I just pinged my boy Jonathan Sheeper, who joined Will I Am as CTO. Will I Am has a whole bunch of startups, and John joined him as CTO. Pinged him to say congratulations, and he's like, "When are we having lunch?" And I'm like, "You know what? My lunch just freed up, so we're meeting at Memphis just to hear what's up." Pumped to meet the guy. He's one of the best people that I know. Just pure generous. Like he's been he's been good to me over the years. <laughs> in the streets of Tel Aviv and this good-looking guy comes over here and he says, you're Hello Fold, I watch your videos, I'm the CEO of Rumor. What is Rumor? I'm the co-founder, not the CEO. Oh, sorry, co-founder. Yeah. Thanks for that correction. So, Rumor is a marketplace for hotel rooms or people that are stuck with hotel rooms wow. that they can't use that are prepaid and non-refundable. Wow. They can actually put them up for sale and other people can book them from them. I love that. At half the price. It's kind of like StubHub wow. for hotels. Rumor.com? Rumortravel.com. Check love it that. out, yeah. Rumor, whenever, R -O -O -M -E -R. whenever you're traveling, you need to book a hotel room, first check there. You can get the room at half the price from someone that couldn't travel. Love it. What's your name again? Ben Fruman. Love it, man. Let's have a cup of coffee soon. Let's do it. Should we, are we connected? LinkedIn, Facebook, something? Uh, I'll, I'll hunt you down on LinkedIn. Do it. And here's my message. Card. Thanks, dude. Rumor travel. Beautiful, man. Cool. Love it. Thanks Thank for coming you. over to say hello. Appreciate Thank it, man. You. We'll talk soon. I love Tel Aviv. One walk to Memphis. And how many people have I bumped into? And then there's this guy, and this guy's smiling at me. See you on LinkedIn all the time. What's up? Hold, how you doing? Right? What's your name? Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> love. We, I got it. You love Tel Aviv. Sarona's the place to be. What's going on? Who are you? I'm Yonatan Mandelbaum from Sylvie Farners. How are you? I'm sure you're the person who's been on the vlog more than anyone. I have. I've had a lot of 
cameos. It's true. It's good. Listen, it's cameos are how to do it. It's going well. How about you? Good. Just came from the Marker Conference. Nice. This week is like conference week. It's conference week. Next week also, by the way. I'm not doing. I'm done. That's it. I'm all. I'm all. Eco motion is good. You should be eco I'm not going to eco motion. There's no way, dude. This week I was at retail. I was at prop tech, and today I was at. I was at EdTech yes, yesterday. I was at enough, dude. Get get done. Done. Have you had Memphis burger? Of course I've had Memphis burger. Making Best sure. burger in Tel Aviv. That's right. Have a good one, dude. Good to see you, my friend. Unbelievable. We can't walk two meters in Tel Aviv without bumping into entrepreneurs and VCs. Love it. How much onion? Uh, How many kilos of onions? Yeah. Uh, guess. Ten kilo of onions. You guess you get a free hamburger. Yeah. It's tw twenty kilos. Oh, I know. Twenty. This is twenty kilos. Twenty kilos of onions. So a few years ago, when Snapchat was still a thing, and then Spectacles came out, it was like the most sought-after product. Everyone wanted a pair. And I was like Mr. Snapchat. I could not get my hands on a pair. And then this man hooked a brother up. And he got me, like literally, I think it was probably the first pair of Spectacles in Israel. Yeah. Oh, mine was the first. Yours was, was the second. The <laughs> now we got it at the same time. By the way, now I have two pairs. I haven't, I haven't touched it. like collecting dust in my drawer. But who are you? What's your I name? I had one flew off my bike. It was in my uh, coat By the way, pocket. what are those glasses you're wearing right now? Uh, these are the Bose AR head. Set. Well, it doesn't Why do they do call it AR though? Because they're AR. augmenting sound. It's sound. They're, it's not augmented reality. They're augmenting my reality with sound. I don't yes. do anything and so I that's get just everything regular, I want. Regular uh, uh, sunglasses it's basically, with headphones built in. Exactly. Cool. All right, what's your name? I'm uh, Johnny, virtualjohnny.com. What do you uh, do? Also known as Jonathan Schiffer. Give me your elevator pitch. What do you do? I break metaphysical boundaries. I help uh, companies go from uh, create physical products connected to digital experiences from prototypes to uh, full products. Uh, a lot of uh, te events for uh, tech for events and uh, a lot of fun. Sorry, fun after, has after, to be there. After those hamburgers, our brains are at 10% capacity. Yeah, well, that Memphis thing really blew me. That's and uh, I, I just landed last night from San Francisco, so I'm a bit off. And you haven't eaten anything. So wait, more, yeah. more important than all that stuff. So you've been working with some amazing companies over the yeah. years. Who are some of the companies you've worked with over the years? Uh, Google, Intel, Amdocs, IBM. Okay, wait, don't tell me who your latest boss is. <laughs> I'm doing my thing on LinkedIn this morning. All of a sudden, LinkedIn pops up a notification. Congratulately, John. He just joined as a technical whatever your title is. What company? Will I am. Will I am. I open my Facebook and I see this guy holding, like picking up Will in the air, like they're buddies. You're working with Will I am now. Yeah, we've been awesome. working on it for a long while. I'm working with the technical guys, um, help him bring innovation, make Love things it. quicker, prettier. Uh, he was here, right, last year? More futuristic. Yeah, he was here uh, visiting. Not Will, the technical guys. Uh, Will, Will wasn't here? I'm not sure. I don't not think sure. He was Still here. don't run his schedule. I Wait think for he was, it. I Wait think he for was it. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I will. All right, listen, you have one job, dude. You ready for your one job? Yeah. Get me an interview with Will I Am. Remember that. That's all. Will, if will you're watching this, happen. we got to have a Memphis <laughs> Burger me and you. you I'll know, try to make it happen. i got to run back to my meeting, but this was awesome. We should do this more often. Like, you think I'm geeky? This guy's a whole different level of geeky. I love it, man. I'm going to run. We'll catch up again soon. Thanks, you. Thank you. That was a very cool day. Tomorrow, I'm going to Herzliya for the day, back-to-back -back meetings, including a meeting with DJI Israel, who just reached out last week. Super duper pumped to check out their new store. It's going to be a great day tomorrow. See you then.